Hi everyone. Okay, so let me show you a chunky charm that I made. Um, and this is going to someone. Um, I did add three chains. This is the middle one. And this is an arty cake with a ghost on it. And then I put this bell. I love bells. So I tried to add them, add them to everything. And then I put the word spooky. So this is this middle chain. And then I just put these ribbons. And then let me show you this. This is really, really chunky. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. And I'm video recording with my um, phone. I'm hoping that comes out okay. Here's um, blood donors and wanted. That's at the end. And then I just put a piece of seam binding. And then here's a spider. Here's a bat, and I did hang him upside down since they're usually upside down. This is a piece of an arty cake, another bead, here's a skeleton, here's a pumpkin, here's another piece of, that's an arty cake as well, and then there's this one, it says happy Halloween, candy corn, this says trick or treat. This is a really pretty purple bead, and I hung from it a witch. Uh, let's see. I made this piece. Oh, let me show you this. This is a Frankenstein. Let me get a little bit closer here. And I made, I got one of these rings. Let me see if I can get it here. And then I put another bat with a bell. Let me see if I can flip the bat over. A spider has a little skull a skeleton here's a pumpkin and here's another one of those Frankensteins here's a really pretty pumpkin in glass and I have a feeling this is also an art part of an arty cake and then I put a witch's boot here's a witch flying I love these these are soccer balls let me see if I can get it out it's a it's an actual soccer ball but I like it like if it was, I don't know, like eyes, I don't know. And then I put a witch's hat, the trick or treat, the candy corn I showed. I made this piece here, which is the skulls. And then here's the cat. I made some of these. I made a couple of these, all the colors that I had. So this one's green, orange, and white. And there's the skeleton. Here's also a piece of an arty cake. I put this word, beware on it Let's see here it says beware um here's another bead in green and then i put this is a witch a button let me see if i can get it here closer Ugh. oh there's a button of a witch here's another little witch a skull oh, i mean a ghost and let's see here's another bead this is also a piece of an arty cake and then there's a little spider. And then here's like a Dracula hanging from this bead. And I used a bail on him because I didn't want to put the jump ring through his eyes. So I did that. So that's that piece in the middle. And then let me show you the other side. Okay, and then I did put her name with um, letters in the back, but I don't want to show that. I want that to be a surprise for her. So here's a cat, and here's a bee, green, orange, and black, the spider. This I think says trick or treat as well. Let's see. Yeah, it says trick or treat. And then here's another pumpkin. This one's really pretty too. I love all those glass bees. Here's a, a skull. A skeleton um this this is really cute i put boo and then i put a little rest in peace here's another one of these bats in purple and then this this bead's really cool it has um like a mesh on it so it looks like a spider web and so i hung a spider from it here's another skull and i used a lot of um the sequins i had seen that in um i think it was virginia who used to um who did that before and then Tara, I know Nurse Tara also, I think Virginia's 1468, Virginia 1468 on YouTube. And then Tara, who is Nurse Tara, she's, she also did that. So, yeah, but I had seen it on Virginia's. And when I saw Tara's, I was like, oh, shoot, that's right. I could use um, those if you don't have so many bead caps. So here's black and orange, just a little 
couple of beads clustered together. This, here's a trick or treat. And then on this side, I also made another um, one of these um, rings and I hung all these buttons. Boo. And here's another witch in purple, a ghost, the Dracula, a witch's hat. Um, here's another trick or treat. Here's another one of these with the three skulls. And then I hung this witch from it. Here's a spider. And I put one of the owls. I love using these purple owls for Halloween. And then here's another one of these with purple, white, and um, pink. And then here's another skull. Here's a cauldron. Here's just a silver bead. Here's a Frankenstein. Here's a, um, this is also an arty cake. Look at this bead, how pretty, I love this bead. Let's see if I can get it out. This is really hard to film, Chunky Charms. Here's another one of these beads, it has blue, but I thought it looked like two eyes there and then maybe like a beak here, I don't know. I just thought it was pretty. So I used that. And here's another candy corn. This one's different from the other one. Um, here's another bat and I did put a bell as well. Here's another one of these skulls, another bead with silver green, and this bead is really cool. It's like, looks like it's all cracked. Here's another little pumpkin, and then this is the bottom of this one. So that is my um, chunky charm for a friend, and I hope she loves it when she receives it. I know that I, um, mine are not, the ones that I've made that I filmed are not as chunky as this one is. But I just, I loved it. I mean, I, I like my Chunky Charms to look full like this. She might think it's too much. And you're more than welcome to take, I mean, just alone, if you took this one chain, that could be a Chunky Charm on its own. Um, she can use this one to just hang from her purse if she wanted to. Because it has the ghost and the bell and it says spooky on it. So she can hang that. And then here she can have another chunky charm. So she can make basically make three charms out of this if she really wanted to. But I liked it together. So that's how I kept it. Um, so thanks for watching everyone. And I will be back with another chunky charm that I plan to be finishing up hopefully um, between today and tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.